sports franchises are tricky games to review. Usually more evolution than revolution can make them hard to recommend each year for what basically amounts to a shiny new coat of paint and a roster upgrade. The latest FIFA game on the Nintendo Switch is disappointingly more in the evolution camp, but dig a little deeper and you'll find the best portable game of football ever released, and even if you ignore the portability factor, FIFA 19 is an excellent standalone football game in its own right. Let's get some of the bad news out of the way first. Booting up this year's game is a feeling of crushing familiarity. The interface is more or less lifted wholesale from FIFA 18, while the game modes are similarly untouched. We do finally get the real licensed Champions League tournament which has been lured away from PES and which is integrated into the career mode at last. Some Champions League content will also make an appearance in the Ultimate Team mode. We also get one of the new features from the bigger console version of the game and that is the new kickoff mode. In this you can tinker around with the settings of your local offline games and give things like your opponent a head start or allowing only headers and volleys to count as goals. You can even switch off the referee completely and play a no rules mode where anything goes and this quickly dissolves into total carnage. It seems a bit of an oversight then that none of these modes can be played online, especially as Switch owners finally get to the option to play their friends online this time around. The two player Joy-Con mode, which was present in last year's game, returns again, allowing you and a buddy to play on a single screen at any time, albeit with a much simplified control scheme, just using one Joy-Con each. Career mode largely remains untouched with the same bland, menu-driven experience which is crying out for some of the fancy cutscenes that were introduced on FIFA 18 on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox. The lack of any fancy new features was forgiven in last year's version due to it being the first effort on the Switch, but a year on it just feels lazy to have exactly the same mode presented to us. The same rings true of Ultimate Team, there's just nothing new here either. As we mentioned, there'll be some Champions League themed packs and cards as the season progresses, but as for any features or improvements, we have nothing additional beyond being able to play against your friend's ultimate team online. The Journey, FIFA's cinematic story mode, is also once again absent this year from the Switch. Well, that's the bad, now for some good news. Once you get out onto the pitch, things do pick up quite a bit. Graphics have taken a noticeable jump up in quality. Ok, it's not quite the same glitz and finesse as the PlayStation version, but textures, lighting, the pitches, stadiums, all improvements. Faces of the players are also notably better, especially on some of the more famous players. There's more good news once the ball gets rolling, quite literally as the ball movement feels more dynamic and the players also have an additional freedom of movement which feels great. The change from last year's game is really quite obvious, especially playing as one of the better teams. Some of the Premier League kickoff games I've played were fairly spectacular in the way the play built up compared to FIFA 18. One obvious change for example is how the AI will aggressively push the ball a distance in front of them and chase it down in a way they never did last year. This really makes you stop wanting to dive in as a defender as chances are you're going to be left for dead and look pretty silly. When all these improvements come together games can look far more realistic than ever. It really is a sight to behold. There are some lingering disappointments with some of the matchday experiences though. Quick subs are still missing and the newly introduced different icon shapes on the minimap are just two easy things that could have been added to the game and made it feel closer to the bigger versions that EA obviously care more about. One gameplay feature that does see parity with the main versions of the game this year is the newly introduced timed shooting mechanic. This allows you to add more power and accuracy to your shots by hitting the shoot button a second time during your shot animation. If timed just right you get a satisfying little HD rumble in the Joy-Con and the cursor above your player flashes. Pulling this off is quite tricky but when you do and the ball flies past the keeper into the goal it's extra satisfying. It's all these little touches that make it hard not to like FIFA 19 even if you feel like not much else has changed. Overall though the game has improved in a lot of areas and stagnated in some others but it never feels like it's gone backwards. FIFA 19 is without doubt the best portable football game ever made. The fact it looks as good as it does whilst running at 60 frames per second both docked and handheld is an impressive technical feat. Some of the missing features are annoying as is the lack of any real leap from its predecessor but despite that we cannot help but love FIFA 19. It's evolved where it counts, on the pitch and it's that which will keep us playing for the next 12 months. <laughs>